Hi friends, I'm Adaftar from Easy Approach and it's the 23rd video of Flutter video series. So far we haven't learned any way to get the data from user. Suppose we have a login form, then definitely we need to have a tax field on it as well so that we can get the data from user using that tax field. So in this video we are going to implement the tax field and we'll learn how to get the data from the tax field. So let's move forward. So what I'm doing initially, I'm removing the existing code of the default application. So just remove this and making my own stateful widget. You can name anything I'm giving here text field screen. And now you need to give the reference of this text field screen here in place of my home page. And now what we need to do, we need to return here a scaffold widget as the root widget. And in the body of this scaffold, I would have a column widget. And inside the column, I would have two different widgets. The first would be the tax field and the second would be the button. And whenever the user would hit on the button, we'll extract the tax from the tax field and we'll show that extracted tax somewhere on the screen, like uh, making another text widget. So basically we need to have three different widgets. So initially I'm making tax field widget. So you can make a text field by using text field widget as the name of widget. And I want everything to be in center so you can give uh, the main axis alignment center. And now if I refresh it, you can see the text field widget here at the center of the screen. Now you can see it is actually, there is no padding around this. So you can give the padding. We can do one thing. We can cut this and wrap this widget inside the container. So just make a container and in the child, give the text field that you have cut and there's a property padding and you can give padding around to every side by using edge insets dot all and here you can give the value uh, of uh, the padding you want so now just refresh it now you can see the padding around your text field now we need to make a button so what i'm doing actually i'm making another container and inside the container i'll make a flat button so just make a container here and inside the container, we'll just make a flat button. And inside the flat button, we would give a child of tax widget. And you can give any text you want to see on the button. So I'm just giving here click me. And you can give the color of your button as well. So I'm giving a red color. And there's a property on press where you actually define what you need to do when the user would hit on this button. So for now, I'm just leaving it empty, but we'll work on it later. And one more thing you need to give the width double dot infinity so that it can it cover all the screen. And now if I refresh it, you can see the button as well. You can change the color of this click me as well, but I'm leaving it as it is. And now what we need to do, we can also give the padding in this as well. So now if I want to show uh, the extracted tags uh, from this tax field whenever the user hit on this flat button, we need to have a tax widget as well so that we can uh, show that tax uh, in that tax widget. So what I'm going, I'm doing actually, I'm making another tax widget in which I'll actually show the extracted tax. So now what we need to do, we need to extract the tags inside this on press. So to extract the tags, you need to associate a controller with the tax field. So to associate a controller, you need to have a controller first. So we need to make a controller. You can make a controller uh, by making a final variable controller and you need to initialize it by tax editing controller. And now you can give this controller inside the tax field. There's a property controller and you can give here. And now what we need to do, we need to extract uh, the tags from this controller actually inside this on press and we need to store it in some other variable so that we can uh, Give the reference of that variable here So I'm making another variable that would store the extracted tags from the tax field and Just make it a string initially. It would be empty So I, I, I just name it name and you can give any and You you have to give the reference of that variable here so that it shows the latest value and now inside this on press, we'll just uh, call the set state and inside the set state, we'll change the value of name. So name uh, equals to 
you can get the latest value from uh, the text field by using controller.txt and now if i refresh it so it is reloaded and now if i give some text like uh, my name mars and click on this button so you can see the text here at the top of the screen and now if i change the text some uh, some other like sad so you can see the updated text so this is it from this video actually in this video we have learned how to get the text from text field in the next video we'll do some other funny stuff with the text field so thank you for watching